What's crack lads and welcome back to another player review. Today we're taking a look at Monday's Chelsea selection which is Monday the 13th of February. So yeah this is a bit of a mixed bag again obviously depending on if you are a newcomer there are some really decent players in this pack um, that are probably worth spinning but if you have been playing the game for longer than a month you probably will have a lot of better players than this. So we're going to go through it fairly quick we are going to go over to eFootballDB and I'm going to show you the training guides to them um and yeah i mean i don't think i'll spin for this one personally even though i have 300 coins i just don't think that there's a point because they're not going to make a massive difference to my squad and i have basically every player here their standard version or else a different version that was released a while back so we are going to start with havertz um obviously this guy is going to be fairly decent because he goes up very high he goes up to 94 overall Standard form on D rating, which means he's a write off this week, unfortunately, unless you get lucky. But he has a nice blend of player skills and he does have some nice stats as well. He's kind of an average SS, lads. That's what I would say at this stage in the late game. I mean, we're into the end game now of eFootball 23. So when we do take a look at his maxed out stats here, we will see that he does have a fairly nice card. And this is how I have trained him. So I've given him 90 ball control. So it's six into shooting. 8 into passing, 8 into dribbling, and 5 into dexterity, which brings those stats up there. So he doesn't go to the 94 with the auto allocate, but he does go to the 93. I think you get better shooting in that as well. You get 80 finishing, 76 balance, 84 offensive awareness, and 90 ball control. So it's all about using him. Depending on how you use him, it's going to be different to your play style. Um, but I don't think that he's, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think he's anything to shout home about for being the highest rated player in the pack. Next up, we do have Koulibaly. Now, this guy obviously is always a monster in the game. <clears throat> Unwavering form. He's got blocker and interception, man marking and heading, aerial superiority, sliding tackle and fighting spirit. I mean, he is the perfect centre back if you are struggling to, you know, uh, concede, stop, stop, trying to stop conceding goals. If you're struggling to keep clean sheets, um, he will plug a lot of holes for you, like automatically. With the way the defending is at the moment, that it's very, very simple. It is sometimes, you know, at its base form about just getting players in with very, very high defensive stats, right? So if you look at the way we've trained him up here, that's exactly what we've done. So we've pumped 13 into defending to get his defensive awareness up to 94, tackling 95, aggression 90, and 92 defensive engagement. Yes, it's a bit overkill. You could obviously take a little bit away here and pump him into aerial strength to have a monster in the air. But I honestly think that that's probably the best way of doing it is to just get... Um, get those stats up as high as you can defensively because he will just defend for you man Koulibaly is one of the most easy to defend with uh, center backs definitely recommend him if you don't have him even his standard version is a monster as well so definitely recommend him his standard version goes 18 levels so this is obviously a better version of the card um but you know it's not massively massively worse it's just that you won't be able to train him up as much um Kind of exciting enough as well, I suppose, is this guy is a carrier. A lot of people talking about him. He's had a couple of different versions in the game as well. Um, with the or sorry, he's only had the standard version. So you know he is a player that somebody that if you are looking at that you haven't got one of like Patrick Vieira or somebody like that. He is in fairness, he is a bit of an upgrade on his standard card, even though his standard card goes up fairly high. So he does have unwavering form. He does have blocker interception, first time shot one touch pass weighted pass long range shooting and man marking so absolutely insane stats for a player like this that's an anchorman beautiful stats and the blocker and interception and fighting spirit are going to make your life a lot easier if you're using him dmf right now when we max him out we're going to go to 92 overall he's also fairly tall at 191 so he is a very very good option to have and he's very similar to patrick Vieira. so if you watch my review in Vieira, you will know what this guy's all about we've trained him up his defensive stats don't go as high but he does have the speed, acceleration, and physical contact to really balance that out. We've also got Sterling, stereotypical kind of left winger. I did do a video on the best wingers in the game, so you can apply a lot of that uh, to what I would say about Sterling. This card goes to 26 levels. We had, obviously, the Man City pack. We also had the Nominating Contract pack, which is very similar to this card. Uh, this card is actually better. This Chelsea card is actually better at the, at the base. Um... 
And the England pack has better ball control but less dribbling. So they're very, very, very similar packs uh, that have released. His standard card goes to 26 levels, so this is probably the better version of that uh, card and one of the best versions of Sterling that they've released. And that is what we would be maxing out at. 96 acceleration, 94 balance, 89 offensive awareness. We also have Thiago Silva. Again, we're going to have a look at Thiago Silva here at the maxed out version, 92 overall. <laughs> very, very similar to Kula Bali, lads. I mean, he's just not as good in the air but extremely good tackler, one of the best tacklers in the game, defensive awareness is unbelievable, not as fast as Koulibaly, but you don't really need speed if you're letting the, the AI defend for you, which is kind of the way the game is at the moment, but he does have everything else that you could possibly want as a centre back as well, he doesn't have blocker, that's one thing, so I do think Koulibaly is the better option if you do spin him to train him up, but then it's Thiago Silva, he's an absolute legend. Now, we've got a couple of interesting ones as well. Um, this guy is a, just a fairly typical right back <coughs> or left back. Sorry, lads. He can play left mid as well. Uh, he doesn't have the greatest player skills. There was a different version of him out that I actually bought. He does. He is on a B this, this week, though, so that is something to look out for. And maxed out, he goes to a 92. You have to kind of depend on how you play, like whether you want. It's kind of like Zakaria, like when we go back to him, right? The way I've trained him up here is just an example if you don't want him to be as defensive, you could take them out and you could pump him into passing. You know what I mean? You could very easily do that and have a very, very solid passer that can dictate the pace. Same with this guy. Um, he is 96 stamina, 90 speed, but you don't need all of that. You know, you don't need all that. You could get away with 88 and 88 and then pump in a few more into defending to get his tackling up to 80. So it just depends. Use your kind of knowledge as well from playing the game as to like what type of players you like to play with. Um you know, because he is a very decent, a decent player. And then last but not least, we have Aubameyang and Kepa. Don't need to spend too much time on Kepa, but Aubameyang is a very interesting choice, lads, because there's been a couple of different versions of Alba, um, obviously with the Barcelona version and stuff. <clears throat> and he's a very, very decent player. You can see there that he's all about pace and power and finishing. 90 offensive awareness, 88 finishing, 90 acceleration and speed. Ridiculous stats for a player that hasn't really been producing, you know, this, this season um so to speak so yeah i definitely think he's 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 kind of a meta center forward at the moment with those stats um really 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 strong stats and then last but not least we have kepa who goes to 90 in goalkeeper reflexes but not to shout home about lads genuinely you know with the inconsistent form as you see there he does have inconsistent form which is going to be an issue for this card um especially he is on b rating but he's not going to be on b rating all the time so when he's not it is going to be a bit of an issue but other than that he doesn't have low punt but he has long throw and he's got a fairly nice stat range but he's just a very typical goalkeeper an average goalkeeper so that is it lads for me i will be back quite soon later on today and uh, we'll be discussing some more videos and i will talk to you in a bit hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe i will be announcing my twenty-five thousand subscriber giveaway very soon so thanks for all make for making that happen lads it's a huge milestone for me personally and uh yeah i'll talk to you in a bit i'm being a bit quieter tonight um because it's very late when i'm doing this video because i'm away tomorrow but we'll be back very very soon i'll talk to you in a bit peace